South Korea's military plans to launch a drone operations command in the second half of this year, in a move to counter North Korea's military threats and bolster its use of unmanned assets. The Defense Ministry put up a public notice on the enactment of a decree to establish the Drone Operations Command amid efforts to step up readiness after North Korea's drone incursions late last year. The planned command will carry out various missions by utilizing unmanned aircraft, including surveillance and reconnaissance, psychological warfare, electromagnetic warfare, and strike operations. Six U.S. technology firms announced plans to invest a combined $1.9 billion in South Korea in such sectors as hydrogen fuel, semiconductors, and environment-friendly facilities. The six companies are Air Products and Plug Power from the hydrogen fuel sector, OnSemi, and Green Tweed from the semiconductor sector, and Pure Cycle Technologies and EMP Bellstar from the environment-friendly business. The announcement came during an investment ceremony attended by President Yoon sok yeol during his ongoing state visit to the United States. Seoul Metro, the operator of the subway service in Seoul, will launch a mobile application this week that will help foreigners navigate the cobweb of the metropolitan city's subway lines. The application for foreigners, named Seoul Subway, will enter into service on Thursday, providing information on subway routes, train schedules, and tourist spots around major subway stations. The GPS-based app will automatically register a user's current location, making it possible for foreign visitors new to Seoul to locate the subway station nearest to their destinations.